diverse. We get students from all over Norfolk. Students are not, um, students from Ghent are not zoned in one community. They are zoned from um, various backgrounds, um, socioeconomically, um, um, ethically, um, race, race, uh, racially. Um, Ghent School is very diverse and students are able to come together um, with all of these diversities and make a great school and they learn a lot from each other, a lot of experiences. Um, one of the diverse things about Ghent School is that we're not just a middle school, we're not just an elementary school. So we have everything from the kindergartners that walk in in their little book bags and their lettuce juice all the way up to the eighth graders who are taking multiple <laughs> high school courses. So they're taking biology, they're taking algebra, they're taking their foreign languages. So you start off learning how to read here at Get, and you end up doing high school mathematics here at Get. School's changed a lot. When I first came here, um, the middle school in particular was different. There was only one class of sixth graders, so 36th graders, 37th graders, and 38th graders, and that's all there was. So there were a lot fewer middle school, middle school teachers, and we took up a lot less space. Everybody fit over at Community One. There were no mobiles. Everybody had the same PE teacher. Ms. Haynes taught everybody. Um, and then you had the same teachers from 6th grade through 8th grade. You didn't get any different teachers for anything. So the classes were a lot closer, and I think you're a lot closer to your teachers then. So it's a little bit different now. <laughs> This project on diversity was not very hard. It was more fun than challenging. It was an interesting activity because we got to know what our school was like before we came here, and we also got to form new relationships with the people we interviewed. All in all, our school was very diverse. <laughs>